Hey everybody, Steph Mischuk with KillerSites.com and KillerPHP.com. In this video blog, it's been a, a little while since I've made one, I'm going to talk about two things. Number one, the role of CMSs and blogs in modern day web design. I got a question recently put to me by somebody asking me if you know, making plugins and modifying blogs and CMSs, blogs like WordPress, which well, WordPress is more of a become a blog slash CMS. You know, it's actually become a pretty much a full blown CMS at this time. I'm recording this in May 2012, and then there's competitors. There's Drupal or Drupal, and then there's Joomla, and these are all CMSs slash blogs. Well, Drupal and Joomla are really full CMSs that, uh, uh, you know, you can use to build up websites. I talked about this several years ago, I guess in maybe 2006, where I, I came up with the phrase, the WordPress web designer. And essentially, that's a web designer who uses WordPress as the basis of all of their work. This at the time was kind of new, um, if not totally new. But it was it was starting to grow, and now I think it's become really much really mainstream for web designers to actually start their work, and start all their websites pro, website projects based on using a blog or a CMS. And the reason for that, of course, is that by doing that, every website will have all the capabilities built into all these blogs or CMS products. If you're not sure what these things are, just look them up. Drupal or Joomla or WordPress. We have a bunch of videos on WordPress ourselves at Killer Sites. And essentially, if you build from one of these free pieces of software, uh, the websites that you build will have that you built will have free commenting, uh, searching capabilities, all, a huge plugin architecture that you can leverage. And in, in the case of uh, Joomla, Drupal, and especially WordPress, a huge amount of templates that you can you, that you can utilize, so you can so that you can instantly skin the site so that they look really pretty good from the get go. And then you can modify these skins to uh, to suit whatever needs that you have for your particular project. That's where understanding PHP becomes very important because all these. CMSs or blog-based tools, Drupal, Joomla, WordPress, they're all built with PHP. So you can edit the templates and so on just knowing HTML and CSS. But if you know PHP, then you can take your ability to customize these packages, well, to the maximum. You can do just about anything you want to them. Whether you want to make changes to the core system, which I, I would advise against, or create a plugin, which is the best way to go. Now, just in case you don't know, a plugin is, is, is basically a piece of software, in this case you'd write it with PHP, which allows you to plug right into the software without changing the core software, and, but still have, be able to effect a change to how the software operates. So if you wanted to add capabilities to WordPress, you can create a WordPress plugin that does this. And in fact, there's a huge uh, number of these plugins that are available for free. You don't have to build them. And you can just drop them right into your WordPress and away you'll go. Same thing with Drupal and Drupal and Joomla, I would imagine. Although I haven't looked at Joomla's um, community, so I couldn't say def definitively if that's the case, but I'm pretty sure it is. So what kind of plugins can you build or can you get? You can get e-commerce plugins, stats plugins, uh, uh, YouTube uh, connectivity plugins, uh, stats plugins, you name it, uh, probably forum plugins, uh, <laughs> survey plugins, all these type of things that if you are building your sites with static HTML pages, meaning non-dynamic pages, then you would have to build these things uh, from scratch or look around for some tool that was out there. But if you base your whole site on Ju on one of these CMSs, Drupal, Joomla, WordPress, uh, or others. Uh, you have all this type of stuff at your fingertips. 
Of course, you're going to have to research and understand the communities of each of these, uh, these uh, projects, but at the end of the day, uh, it's worthwhile. So yes, uh, modern web designers, sh I've been saying since at least 2006, they should learn PHP, there's no question. And today, with the rise of HTML5, which I've been blogging about and writing about, uh, learning JavaScript and HTML5 uh, becomes much more important than it was just two years ago. You see, PHP has competitors. It has Ruby and Java and .NET and others, uh, although PHP is the dominant one these days. JavaScript has no competitors. And JavaScript is used uh, standalone for form validations and stuff like that. But there's also a lot of JavaScript uh, packages that are out there that you can use for free. Uh, for instance, the most popular being jQuery. And there's others like Scriptaculous. And these are packages that allow you to create all kinds of neat effects, do validations on your site uh, with much less work. Uh, beyond that, JavaScript is used to manipulate HTML5 and the DOM. Again, if you don't know about this, uh, you can see our videos on killer sites. Anyhow, it's, uh, it's worth looking into. Modern web design has really become its own thing. This happened several years ago, but it's, 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 it's distancing itself even more and more from traditional um, graphic design. And if you don't know the history about web design back in the mid-90s, early 90s really, graphic designers became the web designers. And uh, because it, in those days, web design was more about the, you know, the visual aspects and less about the code. They would use, people would use programs like uh, a Dreamweaver or a front page or other web design software, a hot dog. I don't know if any of you guys remember hot dog, but anyway. They would, they would use these web design programs to hide the code so that the would, it was more or less a designer thing. So graphic designers would freelance, would, would, um, not freelance, but they would uh, moonlight, there's the term, they would moonlight as web designers. They would do it on the side. But now the web is much more complex, it's much more uh, involved. And just because you can build a basic website, a basic web page, and put some images on it does not make it a uh, does not make you a web designer. Web designers get to learn a lot more. And PHP, JavaScript, HTML5 is just uh, the tip of the iceberg. So yes, the original question is web design a lot about modifying plugins for for things like Joomla, Drupal, and WordPress. The answer to that question is yes. And if you learn how to do that, you're going to get a lot more work. That's as simple as that. And uh, there you go. I hope you found this video blog interesting. I encourage you to check out our new system, Killer, my phone, Killer Sites University. It's worth it. Bye.